Hi guys, it's Miss Ainsley. Today we are going to do a leaf rubbing activity, but first I want to talk to you about the two scavenger hunts that I sent you in the mail. This first one is a scavenger hunt that you can do while you're on a walk through your neighborhood and includes finding things like different animals, a family of people, different vehicles like cars and bikes and trucks, and other things that you would find like flowers and the clouds in the sky and different colored houses. And the second type of scavenger hunt is more nature based and includes things like flowers, trees, insects, tree bark, grass, leaves, and clouds and sand, different things that you would find outside. You can choose to complete one or both of these as a family. It's just a fun activity to get you outside and thinking about the world around you and describing it. So, once you're done with that, you might choose to take some of the things that you found on your scavenger hunt, like leaves or flowers, home with you. Maybe you pick them as a fun activity. So I'm going to show you an activity that you can do with some of the leaves that you may have found on your walk or your scavenger hunt. I have a few different shaped leaves that I pulled from my yard and my neighborhood. And I'm going to show you how to do a leaf rubbing with them and give you some tips. So for this, you're going to need at least one leaf or a couple, some crayons, printer paper, and a piece of construction paper. The printer paper was sent to you in the mail for the leaf rubbing activity. So what you want to do first is choose some colors. Dark colors tend to show up the best. So I'm going to choose this dark red, this blue color, and hmm, one more purple color. And to make this work the most effectively, you're going to want to take the wrapping off of your crayon. Alrighty guys, so I peeled the paper off of my crayons that I'm using today, and I did break them in half just to make it a little easier. If you have any broken crayon bits around your house, you can use those as well. Again, dark colors work the best. So what you'll want to do is take your construction paper, this is just for us to hold on to today, and then choose a leaf. I'm going to do this one first. Place it down so that the veins are facing you. And then place your printer paper over top. The reason that we're using the printer paper is because it's sturdier than regular construction paper. So the leaf will show up better and it's easier to hold on to. So I'm just going to hold it with one hand and rub sideways with my crayon over the leaf. And just like magic, here is our leaf rubbing. This one was a little wet, so it left a little bit of a mark on my paper, but that's okay. You can see the stem and the different veins of the leaves, something you can talk about while you're doing the activity. You could even count them, and you can talk about the different shapes and textures of leaves. Let's try another one together. You can do multiple on one page, or you can do each leaf a different one. That's fine too. I'm going to move it over and do another one over here in blue this time. Same process with the veins and stem facing towards you. And there's a second leaf can also talk about overlapping colors and how colors mix together. This is kind of an art and sensory activity in one. And I think we can add my last little small leaf to this paper and then we'll do the big one on the other piece. This one I'm going to do in red.
there we go. And again, this is something that you want to do hand over hand with your child so they can feel the texture of the crayon and watch the magic happen as they make the leaf appear on the paper. So there's our three small ones. Let's try our bigger leaf. This one's a little bit of a different shape. I'm gonna flip it so that the vein is facing me. The way that you can tell is if you can feel it, you're on the right side. Place my printer paper over top and hmm, maybe I'll switch colors in the middle of this one. So let's start with the red. switch to purple. And add some blue last. All right guys, and there you have a larger leaf rubbing and three smaller ones. Again, this is a great activity for talking about shapes, colors, and textures. I hope you had fun on your nature scavenger hunt or neighborhood walk and making a leaf rubbing together. I'll see you next time.